The Transformation of Saul Saul was born in Tarsus, a coastal city that is now in Turkey. He was a Jew who assiduously studied the Bible as he got older. Following the death of the Savior Jesus Christ, Saul started to persecute and imprison Christians with the approval of the Jewish authorities. He thought that they were influencing many Jews away from the truth and spreading false ideology. The high priest in Jerusalem also gave Saul permission to travel to Damascus, 130 miles distant, to arrest anyone preaching about Jesus Christ in the local synagogues. And as he traveled, he got close to Damascus. Suddenly, a light from heaven shone all around him. And he collapsed to the ground as he heard a voice asking, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He then asked, Who are you, Lord? The Lord then said, I am Jesus, whom you persecute. And he quavered and pleaded, Lord, what do you want me to do? And the Lord commanded him to get up and go into the city so that he might be taught what he needed to accomplish. When Saul got up, he discovered he was blind. Saul was taken by those who were with him to Damascus and to Judah's house. Saul stayed there for three days without consuming any food or liquids. He asked the Lord for guidance in understanding what he was supposed to do. Saul should be found and given a priesthood blessing to help him regain his sight, according to a vision that a Christian by the name of Ananias had. Ananias was terrified because he knew that Saul had attacked and imprisoned numerous saints in Jerusalem, but the Lord reassured him that Saul had changed. Saul was blessed by Ananias after he located him. He immediately gained sight got up, and was baptized, and right away he began proclaiming that Christ is the Son of God in the synagogues. Saul's sight was restored and he learned and accepted the gospel of Jesus Christ as a result of his obedience and prayer to know the Lord's will after being blinded. From that point on, he went by the name Paul and devoted the rest of his life to preaching and teaching about the Lord and his gospel.